Hey everybody, Agrasberg back with you with another Magic the Gathering video. Today's video is my very first booster box opening of Magic the Gathering product, and I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are, so make sure you post in the comments below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I got lots more to talk about, but let's just get right into the video and start cracking. All right, now I don't know if you can tell if I'm excited but I'm finally getting to do something I've been waiting for for probably a couple weeks now. I've been, I've been holding off. I'm finally able to film my very first booster box opening. Now, I did open some packs and some other stuff in the past in the other videos that have already been uploaded to the channel, but this is going to be the very first booster box that I'm going to open, and this is current product. This is stuff that's out right now, and I'm but I'm really excited, and, and tomorrow I'm going to be playing some Commander, so... We're going to be play, opening some Commander Legends. Commander Legends today. And hopefully we'll find some good stuff in here. And some stuff that I can add to my decks. And as always, we'll be showing the value of any valuable cards in this set that I pull. So you guys can you know check that out. Of course, that's going to be coming from the market price on TCG Player. So if, if, you're, if you're looking for reference, and that of course is... Uh, what it is currently as of the opening of this box and the filming of this video. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I suppose I should have. All right, we'll grab grab my skizzers here and open up the uh, side. Nope. Try not to stab myself because that would be horrible. Filming myself just bleeding all over the, my new cards here. All right, it's finally happening. You have no idea how hard it's been to not open up. All these, I, I have some boxes ready to go, ready to be opened, some more videos to be filmed, and uh, you have no idea how excited I'm to finally be able to open this sucker up. Commander Legends. All right, come on. Oh, come on out of there. All right, so we got the Commander Legends little draft guide thing here. Okay, but I'm not going to be drafting. Eventually, I might do a draft. With, with my buddies, with my playgroup, but for now, we are just going to open up these packs and hope for the best. All right, pack number one, and of course, in this video, I might take it a little bit slow with some of the comments as I try to look through them, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to avoid that. I'm gonna try to get through the comments and, and stuff a little bit more quickly so that you guys aren't, aren't bored with that. I can always look at those a little bit later. But all right, first pack. Commander Legends. There we go. Friday Night Magic. Oh, that's the token. All right, here we go. So we got Omen Speaker, Inspiring Roar, Valkyrie, blah, 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 Spontaneous Mutation, Howling Golem. Whenever Howling Golem attacks or blocks, each player draws a card. Everybody likes drawing cards. Silverback Shaman, Sears Lantern. I like colors. Work, a workshop assistant. Supreme will choose one counter target spell. Its controller pays three. We'll get the top four cards, or unless its controller plays th pays three. I'm sorry. We'll get the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, and the rest of the bottom of your library in any order. Okay. Brass Herald. As Brass Herald enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. When Brass Herald enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all creature cards in the chosen type. Revealed this way your land and the rest of the bottom. Okay, all creatures, chosen type, get plus one, plus one. Volcanic Torrent. Okay, so we're going to just... Oh, Jessica's Will is our first... First rare. Choose one. If you control a commander and, your ca and you cast this spell, you may choose both. Add one red mana for each card in the target opponent's hand. Exile the top three cards of your library. You may play them this turn. Ooh, that could be good. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, another rare. And we got about this Shadow Cat Familiar. And it's a partner. Okay, so partner, I mean, I don't have, I'm not, don't currently have a, a partner. So we got two partners. And Finehorn Elves. Look at that. The old Finehorn Elves, my first rare, and the Prismatic Piper. Prismatic Piper is your com if Piper. Uh, pr if the Prismatic Piper is your commander, choose color 
Choose a color before the game begins. The Prismatic Piper is the chosen color. Okay. That's cool. And I got the Monarch. Monarch token card. Alrighty. Neato. I don't know why I'm keeping that over there, but we're just going to put it over there anyway. All right. So Jessica's Will. First rare. We got our... We got a... Uh, here, we'll put... Tell you what, we'll do this. We'll just put this guy over here. Keep our our uh, fancy schmancy, and that's actually that actually feels really good. I like the the feel of these cards. What was this manufactured? I read something it says made in the USA. Okay, so I heard that there was a kind of a difference between the ones that are made overseas and the ones that are made here in the USA. But uh, I don't know if there is actually a difference. Yeah, and I'll be going through all of these here later on my own but we want to see what the good stuff is we want to see what the good stuff is orzov advocate advocist advocist pen and pen and uh pen on blade an equipment reclamation sage and a rare is rejuvenating springs and there's a tap unless you have two or more opponents. So, I mean, okay. Okay, it's a dual land. I'm playing commander. I can play this without being tapped. So, I like it. I dig it. Uh, blue, green. Oh, we got Amulet Celebrant. Lethiel, the Bounteous Dawn. So, we got another rare here. Life link at the beginning of each step. If you gain life this turn, distribute up to that many plus one, plus one counters among any number of other target creatures neat that's pretty cool and we got a uncommon grafted war gear for a nice fancy little foil there uh whenever grafted war gear becomes un unattached from a permanent sacrifice that permanent oh man because plus three plus two three you're gonna equip it for zero all right Alrighty, let's see. Vow of Lightning. Enchant creature gets plus two plus two and his first strike and can't attack or uh can't attack you or a planeswalker you control. Okay, so I guess if you want to I mean that's okay. I could I can see where that'd be handy. When Medium Golem enters the battlefield, destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Okay. Uh, Pride of the Perfect allows you get plus two plus zero. Plague Reaver. At the beginning of your, your end step, sacrifice each other creature you control. Discard two cards. Sacrifice Plague Reaver. Choose target opponent. Return Plague Reaver to the battlefield under that player's control at the beginning of their next upkeep. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, that's that's an interesting play, I suppose, here. Radiant Sarah Archangel. Oh man, I love you guys. Know I love Sarah, uh, Sarah Angels. If you watch my other videos, you probably already know that I have. I love Sarah Angels. This is Sarah Archangel. I've never seen this. Uh, tap another untapped creature you control with flying. Radiant Sarah Angel Archangel gains protection from the color of your choice until the end of turn. Captain Vargas Wrath. Okay, and then Ancestral Blade. Little equipment for for our fancy little foil there. Okay, all right. So again, I don't know a lot of these cards. I don't know their values. So hopefully we're getting stuff. I know. I mean, obviously this is probably this is really good. You're playing uh, playing some commander. So pretty excited so far. I'm you know we're looking for some big hitters. But again, as you would probably also know, I'm not really in it for the investment side of it. But it's always nice to have something to fall back on if you, if you need some value on it. So, War Room. A life equal to the number of colors in your commander's color identity and draw a card. Okay, so not too bad. No little, little uh, lose three or two or three life there. All right, Ghost of Ramirez de Petro. Abra Solemn Ritualist. And we got Sanger, the Dark Baron, as our foil rare. That's an that is that is fancy. Flying whenever another creature dies, put two plus one plus one creature or counters 
on Singer the Dark Baron. Whenever a life another player loses the game, you gain life equal to that player's life total as the turn begins. As a partner. Okay. All right, that's pretty that's pretty fancy. I mean, I don't know what the value on that is, but that's that is actually pretty cool. All right. Cool, cool. So we got uh, four packs in. We already got a foil rare. Or is that a mythic? No, that's a rare. Okay. All right. Let's get to the good stuff. Codex Shredder. Mask of Memory. Feast of Succession. And Hor Horizon Stone, if you would lose unspent mana, that mana becomes colorless instead. All right. Exit the Flesh Sculptor. And again, these are uh, some partner. I suppose these are, are these kind of supposed to be listed like uh, commanders. We've got another rare here. Levio, Oath Sworn Sentinel. Choose another target creature. Its controller may exile it with an Aegeus counter on it. Return all exile cards with Aegeus counters on them to the battlefield under their owner's control. Interesting. And Corpse Churn, mill three cards from your return. Uh, then you may, let's see, mill three cards, then you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Okay, cool little foil there. All right. Man, there's so much good stuff in these packs, man. And I still got a couple more boxes of Commander Legends to open. We're not doing those in this video. But we will be will be other videos to go. So, man, I, lo I love this man rediscovering magic, finding new new spells to cast, new creatures to to get excited about. Man, I love this game. I love this game. Lotus. Oh. Oh. Just put you over here, kind of by yourself, and put you over there. Oh, pretty, pretty jewel lotus. All right, <laughs> we like it. We like it. All right, Galatian Power Stone Engineer. Uh, Akrumi of the Dead Tide and Wild Heart Invoker. Okay, target creature gets plus five, plus five, and gains travel to the end of turn for eight. Oh my goodness. Prismatic Reaper. Alrighty. All right, so just this right here pretty much paid for this box. I mean, well, almost. We'll have to check, we'll have to check the uh, prices and make sure they haven't come down. Last time I checked, uh, that guy right there pretty much, pretty much pays for the box, but I might be wrong. It might be an alternate or something. It might not be as worth as much, but we still, that's pretty good right there. We were, I was hoping to get one. Okay. I mean, if anything, just to, to throw in my decks there, uh, Jolum Tome. I remember Jolum Tome, man. I used to love playing with that guy. Okay. Here we go. Make a stand. Of course I should be. Flipping these underneath the camera. I just forget where my camera is here. Uh, Stinger Fling Spider. Dreamstone Headrun. At three colorless. Sacrifice Dreamstone Headrun. Draw three cards. Six mana for a... Th uh, okay. Uh, so we got Sweet Gum Recluse. Flash Cascade Reach. I'm going to figure out what the heck Cascade is. Uh, when Sweet Gum Recluse enters the battlefield, put three plus one plus one counters on each of any number of target creatures that entered the battlefield this turn. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, we got Raga. Okay. And our wolf, wolf familiar and a scaled behemoth. It's got hex proof. Six, seven for six hex proof. Uncommon. Okay. I dig it. And then the elf warrior token there. All right. So 24 packs in this particular 
uh, box, and we are already through. This is the, the number eight, and we already got our jeweled lotus ready. We love it. All right, let's go right about Armor Larry Spear. Look at this the Sacrifice Spear. Search your library with two basic land cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your library. Yeah, that's, that's probably use That's certainly usable. Varnished Heart, Meteor Meteoric Mace, Demon Lore, Demonic Lore, sorry. And we got Soul of Eternity. Soul of Eternity's power and toughness are each equal to your life total. Oh my. Encore. Exile this card from your graveyard for each opponent. Create a token copy that attacks that opponent this turn if able. They gain haste, sacrifice them at the beginning of the next end step, activate only as a sorcery. Dear Lord. That is some end game power, huh? And oh, exile from your grave. Wow. Okay. Uh, Arden, intrepid archaeologist, and Gen, Arcanum, Arcanum Weaver. Sacrifice, enchantment, re uh, return, target. Enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Cool. And we got a foil uncommon. Lumen Grid Gargoyle. It's got 4-4 four, four flying for 6. 6 colorless. Alright. Alright, our first 8 packs. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Gotta love this product, man. I cannot wait to play some commander and, and, uh, and build some more decks with some of these cards. Have some fun. All right, we got Siren, a Storm Tamer, Sifter Worm, Merchant Raiders, Mnemonic Deluge. All right. Exile target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Carpet that card three times. You may cast the copies without paying their mana cost. Exile Mnemonic Deluge. Nice. Nice. Oh, and we already got Belbe Corrupted Observer. Uh, Belbe Corrupted Observer at the beginning of each player's post-combat main phase. The player adds two mana for each of your opponents who lost life this turn. Okay. Oh, we got, so we got three, well, we got two rares and uh, the Mythic, so that's good. Never Nero Urborg Titan. Nice. Next proof from artifact creatures and enchantments. When Never Nero Ur Urborg Tyrant enters the battlefield, create a tapped 2 2 black zombie creature token for each creature that died this turn. When Never Nero dies, you may pay one. When you do, destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Neat. And then we got Eye Blight Massacre for our foil common. Dude. I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay with this particular box. I would say. I think we are doing a just fine. A just fine. All right. Open the armory. Golem Artisan. Sandstone Oracle. Magnus of the Order. Sacrifice Magnus the Order and another green creature. Search your library for a green creature card. Put it in onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Okay. Toya Bearclaw. Acroma Vision of Exodor. There we go. Nice uh, mythic there. Flying First Strike Vigilance and Trample. Dear Lord. Uh, at the beginning of each combat until the turn, uh, until the end of turn, each other creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and if it has flying, plus one, or if it has flying, it, plus one, plus one, if it has first strike, and so on for double strike, death touch, haste, X proof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, protection, reach, trample, vigilance, and partner. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is, that is pretty cool. And, Soul Fire Eruption for our Foil Mythic. Foil Mythic. Choose any number of target creatures, planeswalkers, and or players for each of them. 
Exile the top card of your library, then Soulfire Eruption deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to that permanent or player. You may play the ex you may play the exiled cards until the end of your next turn. That is pretty neat. Well, we'll put that up here. We'll put that guy up there. He'll get a little special treatment. We'll also, you know what? We'll, we're going to throw this because that is, is that what they call an etched foil? Maybe not. I mean, I'm not sure what that's called, but that's different. That's definitely different because it has, it's, uh, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But we're going to keep those separate. Okay. So our foil mythic. I don't know if you're guaranteed like certain like like a foil mythic if you're guaranteed a foil mythic in each box or if that just got lucky um but all right let's go man this just makes me want to open up my other boxes of commander legends I'm just gonna tell you that right now um okay so coastline marauders cast down and Curious, perfect. And again, I'm going to go through all these later and learn more about these cards as I go kind of sort through them and figure out what I want to add to my commander decks and whatnot. But uh, Rakasha Debaser. Whenever Rakasha Debaser attacks, put target creature card from the defending player's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Encore. Exile this card from your graveyard. Each opponent creates a black copy, uh, creates a token copy that attacks that opponent this turn if able they gain haste sacrifice them at the beginning of the okay cool all right so lena kessig trapper and slurk all intestining soul fire for our common foil and another christine prism prismatic piper All right, Jalen's Tom. Do 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 all the way to the Uncommons. Uh, Warden of Evo's Isle. Fencing Ace. Thought Vessel. You have no maximum hand size. That's cool. We got double strike. Okay. Wrong turn. Target opponent gains control of target creature. If an attacking or blocking creature changes controllers, it is removed from combat. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Kella Sumnane Familiar. And Rayav Master Smith. Now, you know, like, I've, I've talked about this before, like, the, the, gold, the gold cards, you know, the more uh, modern gold cards, I, I've never been a real big fan of, but I mean, like, these look pretty good, I think. I do like these. Molder Beast... For our common foil there. This has been this has been a really fun pack opening, man, or box opening. I mean, I'm excited because one of the one of the cards I wanted to get, obviously the jeweled lotus, we got like almost immediately. So that helps. Makes me feel good about whatever else we get. And again, I'll have to look through, see, you know, what we have here. I know the mnemonic Delu deluge is, is also a pretty good card. Um, just because I've heard of it. So if I've heard of it, then it must be, must be decent. All right. Val Wilderness Hunter's Inside uh, Guilt Leaf Winnower. Promise of Tomorrow. When a creature you control dies, exile it at the beginning of each end step. If you control no creature, sacrifice Promise of Tomorrow and return all cards exiled with it to the battlefield under your control. Okay, that... Okay, that's I, I like this a lot. The thought, the things that you could do with this card, actually a lot, like like a lot. I like it a lot. Um, flying spells your opponent cast that target one or more commanders you control costs three more to cast. Okay, another rare here. Ar Arkelos Lagoon Mas Mystic. It's a turtle. He's a turtle with a stick or something. I don't know. As long as Arkelos Lagoon Mystic is tapped, another. Uh, other permanents enter the battlefield tapped. As long as Archelos is untapped, other permanents enter the battlefield untapped. Interesting. You got to figure out a way, like an enchantment or something to put on him, to tap him during your opponent's turns and stuff like that. Yep. 
That's what I say. Oh, we got another one. Like I said, is that is that etched? I mean, I have to think that that's etched. So we got uh, so uncommon for zero. So zero cost, uncommon. Rograss, son of Roga. Uh, first strike, menace, and trample. It is a partner. It is a partner. So you'd have to partner it up with somebody that uh, you know that you can actually put like plus ones on it and stuff like that, or maybe equipment. Uh, okay, that is that is really a pretty card. That is a really pretty card. Look at that thing. But that's pretty cool. So we got uh, the foil, Singer, the dark, Singer, the dark Baron, etched foil, and, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. All right. Anyway. Oh, uh, do, 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 do. All right, Lightning Rig Crew, Horizon Scholar, Drafted War Gear. Fit creature gets plus three, plus two. This. And this. Did I put that in the right pile? Yeah. These two guys. Especially if you're playing as a partner. These are perfect. Perfect combo. Great combo here. Great combo, because then, I mean, you could always just recast them, right? Oops. Anyway. Uh, Blasphemous Act. This spell costs one less to cast for each other creature on the battlefield. Blasphemous Act deals 13 damage to each creature. Blah. Okay, then. All right. Numa, blah, blah, blah. Myria, Thorn of the Glade. And flesh bag marauder as our foil common. It was a cool look at that. That, that. that is really cool. That looks like some comic book stuff going on there, man. That that golem that looks good. I like that a lot. I like that art. I mean, that's and that's a token. Not need not need to create to, like golem token or uh, like deck or something just so I can use that. You know. Oh man, stop hitting the freaking camera. All right, here we go. And I'm sorry, I'm so getting so excited over some stupid stuff. You guys have seen these cards before, and I haven't. And you guys are probably like, "Man, this card's on nothing." Why are you so excited? Just calm down. All right, enchanted creature or vow of duty, enchanted creature, patron of the valiant. Three visits. Okay. Then we got Nightshade Harvester. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under the opponent's control, that player loses one life. Put plus one, plus one encounter on Nightshade Harvester. Man, that'd be great to get out early, huh? Four mana costs. If you can ramp it out early, that'd be pretty big, huh? Jury Master of the Rev Review. Tormon, the Des Desecrator. And we got Workshop Assistant. For our common foil. When workshop assistant dies, return another target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. All right. We're almost two thirds of the way through this box. We're due for another, another something super exciting. Of course, I mean, the, here's the problem is that I don't know all the cards that would be super exciting, except I did know Jewel Lotus. Jewel Lotus was, was exciting. So there's that. Uh, Ingenuity Engine, Explosion of Riches, Revenant. I like I like that name. Uh, Revenant's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. That's fun. Soulfire Eruption. So we got the same mythic that we have uh, right there. We got, you know, so we got another copy of that. Uh, Kangi Sky Warden. So hopefully, at least hopefully, those are actually worth something. That'd be nice. Your lock of Scorch Thrash, Vigilance. A player losing unspent mana causes that player to lose that much life. Wait, wasn't isn't that kind of how it is? Each player adds each player adds that much of mana. But I always thought I kind of always thought that that's just kind of how that was at the end it wasn't isn't mana burn is mana burn just not a thing anymore 
I thought I thought that was always a thing. I guess there was that other card that, you know, talked about unspent mana being colorless. So, huh. All right, and Sailor Means is our common foil. All right, final eight packs. Final eight packs. This another one's going to be, this video is obviously going to be a little bit longer than intended, but you know what? Whatever. I'm, I'm having fun with it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying seeing me discover these cards. And believe me, if I were, if I were had my way, I would have gone through each one of these commons, each one of the uncommons. Hey, command tower. Um, and, uh, you know, like read through them all. And it would be a much longer video. We're trying, I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter, but obviously we're already, uh, according to this time without editing already 30 over 30 minutes in. So, uh, Val flight. We already just saw that one. Not too long ago. Monstrous onslaught slaughter. The strong, uh, Root Weaver Druid. When Root Weaver Druid enters the battlefield, each opponent may search their library for up to three land cards. They each put one of those cards onto the battlefield tapped under your control and the rest onto the battlefield tapped under their control. Then each player who searched their library this way shuffles it. Okay, give you some free land. Nice. Blim Comedic Genius for our second rare. Whenever fly, uh, flying, whenever blim, uh, blim, comedic genius, deals combat damage to a player, that player gains control of target permanent you control. Then each player loses life and discards cards equal to the number of permanents they control but don't own. <laughs> okay, now I get it. That is, that's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. And a third rare. A third rare Jared. Carthalian. True air. Uh, like Jared Gethalian, King Gethalian, anybody? Anyway, uh, when Jared Carthalian, true heir, enters the battlefield, target opponent becomes the monarch. You can't become the monarch this turn. If damage would be dealt to Jared Carthalian while you're the monarch, prevent that damage and put that many plus one plus one counters on it. Okay, so we'll have to figure out the whole monarch thing if we're going to use that. Uh, inspiring Roar. Or our rare, rare common there. Or not rare common, a uh, foil common. Plus, plus one counter on each creature you control. Okay. So there's, I know there's some cards that take advantage of there being plus one, plus one counters on creatures. So that would be, would be good there. All righty. Do, do, do. As we're getting closer to the end of this video, we got Kangi's Lieutenant. Nice little group of flying. Oh, that is pretty. Mindless Automaton. Mindless Automaton enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. Discard a card, put a plus one plus one counter on Mindless Automaton. Remove two plus one plus one counters from Mindless Automaton and tr draw a card. Okay, so that I can see how that'd be useful. I could definitely see that. Scaled Behemoth. Hexproof. We, we've seen that one before. Wheel of Misfortune. There we go. I've heard of this card. Each player secretly chooses a number zero or greater than the players reveal those number of simultaneously and determines the highest and lowest number revealed this way. Wheel of Misfortune deals damage equal to the highest number to each player who chose that number. Each player who didn't choose the lowest number discards their hand, then draws seven cards. Interesting. I'll have to read that again. I don't feel like there's there's a lot going on in that particular one, but I did I have heard of that one. Um do do salvage splicer and um Bell Borka Spectral Sergeant. Note the converted mana cost of each card as it's put into exile. Bell Borka Spectral Sergeant's power is equal to the greatest number uh noted for it this turn. At the beginning of your upkeep exile, the top card of your library, you may play that card this turn. Once again, lots of stuff going on there, so we'll, we'll check that out. Nature Reclamation. All right. Um, Spirit Dance. Something, something about that one just it pulled, pulled my attention. Angel of the Dawn. Wow, that is... I like that art. I need to get, like... Can I, is there a playmat with that art on it? I need, or I need something, man. I need to get, like, a body pillow with that on it or something. Uh, let's see... Burning anger. 
giant creature. It has uh, has this creature deals damage equal to its power to any target. Oh boy. Oh dang it! I guess that I'm putting these on the wrong piles here. Get off there, you dirty commons! You don't belong in the uncommon piles. Okay. Lore Seeker Stone. Draw three cards. This ability costs one more to activate for each card in your hand. Okay. That's cool. Victimize. Choose two target creatures, cards in your graveyard. Sacrifice creature. If you do, return the, target, the chosen cards to the battlefield tapped. Amphin Mutineer. When Amphin Mutineer enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non-Salamander creature. That creature's controller creates a 4-3 blue salamander warrior creature token. All right, get your, get your guy out of there. It's now a salamander. Nothing more, ins more insulting than making your, your opponent's big guys salamanders. Uh, Breaches, Brazen Plunderer, Rebecca Architect Ascension, and Trove Tracker. For the common foil. Alrighty. Urgh, get off there, rapper. It's exciting. It's exciting. All these cards are new to me. I'm super, super happy right now. You guys have no idea. Prophetic Prism. Oh, and that's add one. Oh, it's okay. So it's basically just a mana converter. Okay, that's not. I mean, okay. Skilled animator. Open the armory. Arcane Signet. Okay, that's useful. That's definitely useful. That's definitely useful. I'm gonna have to look and... Yeah, we'll probably use that for sure. Court of Bounty. When Court of Bounty enters the battlefield, you become the Monarch. Yeah, I'm the Monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. If you are the Monarch, instead, you may put a creature or land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Okay. Amza Guardian of Ashrin. Arsh, Arsh, Arshin, or uh, what? Okay. Uh, Kedis, Kedis, I think we had that guy before. And Gilanra, Gil, Gilanra, Color of Wirewood. Okay. That's an uncommon. Hey, there's that golem again. Gotta make me a golem deck. Gotta happen. Gotta happen. Yoink. All right, let's see. Pilgrim's Eye, for a minute, I thought that was a, a uh, ornithopter or something. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Opal Palace. So many pretty colors. Golem Artisan going in my golem deck. Uh, target artifact creature gets plus one, plus one to the turn. Uh, Armor Craft ju uh, Judge. Krombaji Witches. Slash the ranks. Destroy all creatures and planeswalkers except for commanders. Let's do some commander battling. Commander battling. Okay, we already saw that guy. In fact, he's right there. Uh, Gnostro voice to the crags. Choose one X is the number of spells you cast this turn. Scry X. Gnostro voice of the crags deals X damage to target creature and you gain X life. Okay. That's fun. Ambush Viper, Flash, and Death Touch for two. That's, wow. That is evil. I like that. That's my kind of card right there. All right. We got three packs left, guys. Three packs left. What are we going to pull? Since we already pulled our Rare Foil, our... We've only... Okay, so we've got three, four, four uh, Mythics so far, unless I missed some. I don't know what the average is, but I mean, we got like what the best one. So, uh, Fathom Fleet Sword Jack, Scholar of the Ages, Sunset Pyramid, and Czar's Will. Choose one if you control commander. Uh, if you control commander as you cast this spell, you may choose both. Each opponent sacrifices a creature they control with the greatest power. Exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards, then create X01 black throw creature tokens, where X is the greatest power among creature cards exiled this way. Okay, that could be handy. 
Dargo Shipwrecker, Siani Eye of the Storm, and we got another foil rare, Don Glade Regent. When Don Glade Regent enters the battlefield, you become the Monarch. As long as you're the Monarch, permanents you control have X proof. Yay! Um, I guess we'll just put that there. Ah, screw it. We'll put it over here. All right. Dispellers, capsule, blah, 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 bunch of other stuff. Charcoal diamond. Okay. It comes in tapped, but I mean, hey, it's a diamond. It's a charcoal, but it's a diamond. Return to dust, confiscate. Nice. We like confiscating things. Sifter Worm and Commander's Plate for our fifth mythic. Equipped creature gets plus three, plus three, and has protection from each color that's not in your commander's color identity. Fancy. Put it on your commander for three. You can equip it for whatever. Cool. Abomination of Lanawar. Man, zombie Lanwar elves. Prava the Steel Legion and Goblin Trailblazer with Menace for our foil common. All right, here we go. Our last pack of Commander Legends for this video. I do have a couple more boxes to open, so look forward to those videos coming up. Uh, my, my next box opening probably will not be Commander Legends, but I do have those coming up. But especially since we got this Jewel Lotus, maybe I'll just... Keep them over there. I do. I do want. There's other cards in here I want. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to get to editing this video and find out exactly where the value lies in what I have opened. I think this is. I think this is a great set. I, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing these cards, building decks out of these cards. Uh, you know, commander decks and playing them against my friends and then smashing them into the dirt. Uh, Vow of torment, enchant creature, uh, whatever. Furnace celebration, shimmer mirror. Wait, that's Flash. You may cast artifact spells as if they had Flash. Cool. That'd be going to my Golem deck. Build a Golem deck eventually. All right. Here we go. Whole Breacher. Flash an opponent. If an opponent draws a card except... Or would draw a card except that first one they draw on each turn, their draw steps. Instead, you create a treasure token. Sacrifices to add one mana. Okay, so just keep them from drawing. I mean, that's a probably nice little little thing with Bob. Armix. Filigree Thrasher. Kodama of the East Tree. Okay. I think this one's all right, isn't it? I think I've, I've heard of this one. I've seen this one. But I'm not 100% sure. So we got our last rare is Terrible, or not rare, uh, is uh, foil here, Terramorphic Expanse. Sacrifice Terramorphic Expanse. Search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. All right, there we go. We got the Jeweled Lotus, that's obviously the big prize. We got a couple etched foils, the Sengir Dark, the Dark Baron. Uh, this this guy here, which is a very interesting, I mean, that's a really good looking card. I, I like I like that a lot, it's just bronze, and it's 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 just, that's cool. Uh, we also have the Soulfire Eruption, and we got just another another copy of it as well. Uh, the Demonic Deluge. And so, um, again, I'll be looking forward to editing this video and finding out where the value is. Well, let's go ahead and go to the big shot for our, our final thoughts for this box opening. Well, there you have it. My very first Magic the Gathering booster box opening on the channel. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching it. We got the Jeweled Lotus, of course. That was the big hit. We had some other pretty decent cards in there, including that whole breacher right there at the end. In total, we ended up making $160.13 uh, at current market value on the rares and a few of those foils. Uh, and that's not even counting all the uncommons, the commons, and some of the common foils and that sort of thing. So I think we did pretty good if, you know, if you're considering how the monetary value of it plays in and, and you know, how we did. I still made a pretty decent amount of money on that particular purchase at this time. Not that I'm really in it for the, for the monetary value, but it's always good to have that as a backup. But... Uh, that's going to be it for today's video. We got lots more coming, so make sure you're looking for those videos.
Don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up if you like what you watch. And also, I want to hear your feedback, so hit up those comments. It also helps get my videos in front of more people so we can really build this Major Rager community right here on YouTube. Uh, make sure you hit up my socials. That's all down in the description below, including my Discord invite. So you can come by and chat with me and the rest of the community on Discord. And, you know, like I said, click on the other videos, show the support. We can grow this thing, have some fun. I got lots more videos coming along the way. And uh, like I said, these boxes, actually over here, there we go. These boxes over here will show you some other videos that maybe you haven't seen. Maybe you have. Maybe click on one of those, comment, and share. So until next time, this is Angry Iceberg. We'll see you in the next video.